The last year and a half for Maine Fly Company has been very unique and something I'll probably never experience again. Coming off our opening couple of years, you know, getting ready to launch our first full year after a little bit of scaled manufacturing capabilities, but all in a time of isolation. And so our opportunities to grow and our face-to-face, -face, you know, the events and the pop-up events that we had scheduled, we had to pivot. Our plans for expansion, obviously, were held up. And we started going into construction mode. Well, then those, you know, because of supply chain and, you know, so I was setting up builders to work remotely. We were exchanging product remotely. And, you know, we were able to get, you know, some really great exposure but in a very different way, in a, in a digital way behind screens. And it was just not something that anybody would put in a business plan. Once the pandemic is, is behind us and whatever that's gonna look like, I hope that people can stop and embrace the positives that came out of it. Because it pushed a lot of people outside. It pushed a lot of people into nature. It got them out of the malls, it got them out of the airplanes, it got them out of you know commercial vacations and forced them into everything that surrounds us here in Maine. We're surrounded with over 5,000 lakes and streams and mountains and trails and people got back out there again. One of our core values is community. And I feel really honored that we were able to lean on our community during this period of isolation. And they made significant contributions to our growth and the opportunities that have been presented to us between our guides and our stewards. And these are all people that have joined the main fly community you know, because they believe in what we're doing. To me, it's the silver lining. It's a resurgence of craftsmanship, community, uh, togetherness. And we were able to continue to grow that sense of community through a period of isolation, which is kind of ironic. But we grew, and we grew stronger. And I saw some really wonderful collaborations where the community really strengthened, the fly community, the outdoor community, in a time where we, we couldn't be together. I feel lucky and I feel really honored that people have joined this mission. special for me to, to get all the faces and from our rod builders to our legal to our guides all together in one spot and celebrate what we love, which is fly fishing and spending time together in the North Woods. And I couldn't think of anything better than the Allagash. excitement was clearly there, the camaraderie was there, and it was interesting that all these people had been part of the company for so long, but hadn't physically seen each other. Like, it came together as COVID was launching. And in a matter of days, it really felt like a family, or just a couple days before, no one really had physically seen each other. With a year of Zoom and technology and the dependence on it, and everything that we've been married to for the last year and a half, it was really about disconnecting and really embracing the roots and the heritage of fly fishing and being connected with the outside. We convoyed up, we drove five hours to come up here and bond and fish. And, and once we're coming through Ashland, it's very clear. It's your last chance 
you got to make a call, if you want to do an email, if you want to fuel up, that's it. Because from there you hit the logging roads and you're getting out there. The Allagash Northwoods region is as disconnected as you can get in the Northeast. It's something that a lot of people don't get to experience. And as anglers, it's what we chase. The inspiration, it's no secret, you know, it came from my father and it's expanded from my uncle who was a craftsman and my mother, a small business owner of 20 years and all of that together has made Fly Company and regardless where we are in 10 years or where we are in 20 years, we'll always operate as that local main Fly Company that will pick up the phone and have conversations and be grounded to our roots and we want to represent Maine in the way it deserves. <laughs> the roots are deep here and the traditions are, are deep and even if it's just with me and my family and my three boys I'm trying to reestablish some of those lost traditions of cabin time and fishing time and that's who Maine Fly Company will always be regardless of where we land that local company that operates as a small local company with a level of service that small business in Maine is known for will operate like that until our last day <laughs>